Hi, welcome back to Classy Pitch. I'm Dr. H. Have you ever been asked to page turn for a pianist? Today, we're going to talk about page turning for pianists, and I think it's something that all musicians should know how to do. As a pianist, it is actually very difficult and very rare to find a good page turner. And now you might ask, why do you need a page turner if all your music is memorized? Actually, pianists don't need to memorize their chamber music part, and they also don't need to memorize contemporary music. In fact, more and more pianists use music in concerts even for classical solo repertoire, and it's becoming more accepted in the music world. I remember when I was doing my doctorate degree at Stony Brook, there was a flutist who was so good at turning pages. Of course, she was an excellent flute player, but her page turning skill was impeccable, and people started to pay her to turn pages for concerts. So let's talk about what makes a good page turner. Let's go from the basic. What should a page turner wear? So if you're a page turner, you don't want to steal the show. So a page turner should always wear all black, just to avoid dressing prettier than the musicians on stage. Second question, where should a page turner sit? A page turner usually sits on the left side and behind the pianist. Remember to sit back far enough so the pianist can have the space that he or she needs to play the piano, but do not sit too far that you can't see the music. Third question, how should I turn pages? When you're turning pages, always take the top right-hand corner of the music. Never turn the page from the bottom right-hand corner. If you reach your hand over there, you will block the music from the pianist. Keep in mind, sometimes the pages can be stuck together, so give yourself some extra time to separate the pages. Last question, and it's the most important question out of all. When should I turn the pages? This is a very tricky question. You should always try your best to read all the parts that's on the music. But if you can't, you should at least follow the piano part. A lot of pianists would nod when they need you to turn the page. But make sure you are standing up and ready to turn the page by then. I remember a pianist once told me, when the piece is fast, stand up at the beginning of the last system for the page turn. That would give you enough time to grab the corner of the page and turn it on time. But when the piece is slow, then you can stand up a little later. For example, if you're turning the second movement of the Franck Violin Sonata, which goes by really, really fast, then you will want to stand up here and turn here. But if you're turning the second movement of Greek Violin Sonata number three, then I will stand up later and turn here, since this movement is slower. One more thing a page turner should pay attention to. You should avoid wearing a shirt or a blouse that's too long and too flowy. One time, a page turner was wearing a long flowy blouse, and it keeps getting in the way on the piano when she was turning pages, and eventually my hands got caught in the shirt, and that was not fun. Alright, so that's it for today's episode. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment area below, or you can email me at classypitch at gmail.com. You can also find me on Twitter or Instagram at classypitch. Again, I'm Dr. H. See you next time. Stay classy.